In the news this week, an MOU signed to study the potential to establish plastics to liquid plants in the UAE. The opening of the Kapinski Floating Palace. Taziz and Reliance Industries Limited agree to launch Taziz, EDC and PVC. Larson and Tubro sign an initial agreement with Saudi Aramco. US-based McDermott has been awarded three new offshore contracts by Saudi Aramco. Alula signs four agreements with French institutions. And Oman and Saudi Arabia sign 13 MOUs to activate joint action in promising economic sectors. Well, hi there. My name is Phil Higgins, and this is the Ventures Onsite Construction Industry News Update for the Middle East region. In the UAE, Enoch Group, Quantafuel and Dubai Holdings LLC have signed a memorandum of understanding to study the potential of establishing and operating a plastics to liquid production plant, turning plastic waste into valuable products and a step towards a circular economy. The proposed waste to energy project, which is likely to be commissioned by 2024, is expected to convert 1.9 million tonnes of waste per year. SAPEM is appointed as the ENC contractor for the project. Kapinski Floating Palace is opening as a floating building surrounded by 12 other floating luxury villas with the possibility to sail to other anchorages at time. Anchored next to the Dubai Jamira Beach Road, guests are brought to the 156 room and suite hotel or their villas by boat or arrive directly with their own vessels. The main building of the floating palace, structured in four parts, is connected in the middle with a glass pyramid and offers every luxury of a five-star hotel, from exclusive gourmet restaurants, bars, spa, pools and boutiques, banquet areas and the possibility for even larger yachts to sail in and out at the centre of the hotel. The project is implemented by Seagate Shipyard. Abu Dhabi Chemicals Derivatives Company Taziz and Reliance Industries Limited have agreed to launch Taziz EDC and PVC, a world-scaled chemical production partnership at the Taziz Industrial Chemical Zone in Ruayas. The new joint venture will construct and operate a chloralkali, ethylene dichloride and polyvinyl chloride production facility with an investment of more than $2 billion US dollars. The Taziz Industrial Chemicals Zone is a joint venture between Abu Dhabi National Oil Company and ADQ. Larson & Tubro has signed an initial agreement with Saudi Aramco to develop manufacturing capabilities in Saudi Arabia. Under the plan, LNT will build the region's first heavy wall pressure vessels facility at the Jabal Industrial City. The company said in a joint statement, LNT will start building the facility with production expected to commence in the third quarter of 2022. Spread over an area of 120,000 square meters, the facility aims to produce critical equipment for several industries such as power and oil and gas. Well, the US-based McDermott was awarded three new offshore contracts by Saudi Aramco. The company will complete the EPCI of four drilling jackets and seven oil production deck modules at the Zulouf, Ribyan, Abu Safa and Safania fields. The scope of works also includes the EPCI of more than 45 kilometers of offshore pipelines, approximately 100 kilometers of subsea cables, and tie-in works to existing facilities. Well, coinciding with the visit of the French President Emmanuel Macron to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Royal Commission for Alula signed four agreements with French institutions, two in the cultural field and two agreements in the infrastructure sector. The agreements include the development of 15,100 square meter Villa Hegra, a unique place where artists, writers and painters come together which will be a cluster of entities, including the exclusive Alula International College of Tourism Hospitality, a 6,600 square meter lifestyle apartment hotel, cultural center, arts residence quarters, and social club. RCU also signed an exclusive agreement with Fernandi Paris Culinary Arts and Hospitality Institute 
to jointly create a Fernandi brand, Alula International College of Tourism and Hospitality. Well, the Sultanate of Oman and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia have signed 13 memorandum of understandings to activate joint action in promising economic sectors last week. Some of the particulars in the MOU include the Omran and Dar Al Khan real estate development company to develop a tourism project in the Yeti area, Oman Mining Company and Saudi Mining Company to assess opportunities for explorations in the mining sector and a contract was signed between Kazain Economic City and Nakel Express of Saudi Arabia to set up a vehicle assembly unit in Kazain City, among others. Well, that's it for this week. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channel so we can keep you up to date with the most recent construction news for the region and all future developments here at Ventures On Site. Well, we hope this news update has helped you stay informed so you stay competitive. My name's Phil Higgins. And this is Ventures Onside Live.